Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up, bruv? Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. So today we're going to focus on what a center forward or a striker should do, which exercises he should do to become better in a match. Because each position in football requires different runs, movements on the pitch. And as a striker, center forward, you need to do loads of diagonal runs, loads of sprints, loads of change of direction. So today we're gonna to focus on that. Since I'm a professional footballer, I learned a lot. Because before, I used to do continuously long runs, long distant runs, because I was thinking this will improve your fitness as best as possible. But in the football game, there are loads of stops, loads of sprints, walking, and then again sprints, and then you walk, and then you jump, like loads of interval runs. Because interval runs are the best way to improve your general fitness. And this counts for any position in a football pitch. But today, we're gonna focus on striker movement. So two exercises where you will improve as a striker. First exercise, we start on the penalty spot and then we sprint to the six yards line, back to the penalty spot, sprint to the edge of the D left, back to the penalty spot, sprint to the other side on the D, sprint back to the penalty spot and open up to the halfway line. Second exercise is going to be, you start at the byline, you bubble towards the 18 yard box line sprint all the way to the end of the 18 yard box line bubble back to the byline bubble back again to the 18 yards line box sprint and back but before we start we do a proper warm-up and some quick feet exercises
Drill number three, we start at the touch line, we sprint to the six yards line, sprint backwards and then sprint diagonal to the edge of the D. Two sets of six reps and after each sprint, as a recovery, you juggle the ball back to the starting point. And this is also like a technical drill because you can't let the ball drop. And after that, you need to try to pass the ball back towards the edge of the D so your pass can't be too hard or too soft. And that will test your technical abilities. Man, this is hard. But if your fitness level is really good, you should aim to do all three exercises. But if not, if it's a bit too hard, try to do two out of three. You can choose two out of three exercises that you do. Oh, well, great session, great workout. Because the pain, when you feel the pain, it's worth it, trust me. Because no pain, no gain. So I'm absolutely shattered now, but this is how you improve, especially when you are a striker, a center forward, your match fit stamina. And you're more than welcome to try out these exercises when you are a center back, a center midfielder. It doesn't matter because this will definitely improve your agility and your sprint speed. And because Team Brandao is just amazing, this is my clothing line, Boguva Clothing. This is a jumper and I want to do a giveaway. What you need to do is follow me on Instagram, comment on my last picture with Boguva and tell me with what club did I score my first goal in the 365 days challenge to pro contract. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. Keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So team run now. Mm. See you next time. Thank you.